It's been a big morning here at WHAS 11. Uh, if you didn't watch, you know, GMK, big celebration uh, happening on GMK and uh, throughout the day here on uh, WHAS 11 and Great Day Live. We are celebrating 30 years of Good Morning Kentuckiana. And joining us now with a little bit more on that big anniversary celebration is former GMK anchor Joe Arnold. You just punked all of yes. your viewers because she teased it ahead like, a GMK anchor. They're all saying, great, we're going to see Barry. We're going to see Rachel. <laughs> this is sort of like the tease they Kelsey. say. An international recording artist ends up being like Tiny Tim. <laughs> I'm like, yes. And there's always one that stays around. That's yeah. exactly right. <laughs> I was the only one like, they could afford. Still in the building. <laughs> <laughs> he actually wouldn't leave. I mean, everything this morning, Joe, was like, it was just, it made me so happy to watch. Yep all the flashbacks and it just brought me joy and it just had to bring you joy too to kind of see the yeah, greatest great. of clips played all week long and then culminate in this big celebration you know today. and this will sound i don't know how it'll sound whatever but but the viewers of whas 11 have, of course are always close to our hearts as well and this good morning kentuckiana and whas 11 family yeah. extends beyond the people who work here because there is something about sharing that experience together over the years yeah. and so it's interesting because for instance i never anchored with kelsey starks but I feel like she's my sister, mm. you know? And the same thing with Barry and Rachel, and then it was Rachel and me, and then it was uh, me and Renee, and then it was Renee and Andy, and it was Andy and Kelsey. I mean, it, it's at the whole kind of like, it, it's like the biblical, you know, lineage <laughs> you're going is. through. But not that I'm comparing myself to a biblical <laughs> To Jesus figure. or anything, not at all. <laughs> Why would you do that, Joe? <laughs> it's so good to be back. I feel like you all went through combat together because getting up, getting up at that hour, because people, I think, assume, oh, you guys just yeah. like show up at like four o'clock. You get up like at one, two o'clock in the morning, you That's come right. in, you prepare a show, and you're part of something mm -hmm. that is a part of our lives, watching you all every morning. Oh my you gosh. Know? There's Kristen, who's Kristen. now, she's been in St. Louis for a long time, Barry and yeah. Rachel together. Uh, and then I started out in radio here in this building, this is the old newsroom. Uh, when I was doing Sergeant Joe Friday and giving like the <laughs> highlights Sergeant Joe of Friday. that's what Barry called me, uh -huh. creature feature. But to your point before though, it has uh -huh. to do with you said like you know in the trenches, in the, and you know kind of going to war together. There is something about that mentality. Yeah. But there's also that, that part about our community here as well. Yeah, I think and so. and this and Good Morning Kentuckiana. And I will say, no offense to anyone else, but Rachel Platt, there mm -hmm. on the right, in case you don't know, I'm the one on the left. Yeah. <laughs> the, and whole, the lights black. went out. Yep. There you go. Uh, Did the lights She really go is out the there? heart and soul of this entire yes. concept. Mm -hmm. and, and, and she is the one who always pushed over the years. And I'm so glad this tradition continues today. And this is what Great Day Live is all about, is to highlight the community, yes. is to highlight the people who live here and the events that are happening. And thank goodness there's still a place to do that. There definitely is. Yeah. You know, um, Eric King was on the show yesterday and he pointed out something that is super special uh, about Rachel, about Kelsey, about all of you guys. The ability to switch gears and do these serious stories, oh. right? And to have this wealth of knowledge in the back of your head that you can ad lib and make it up and ask questions about economics, uh -huh. breaking news, and then switch gears to something so ridiculously silly and it be genuine is the hardest thing to do in the world. It it's really, hard, really but is. But again, it's real. Yeah. Because that's the way your families are too, right? Yeah. You're having a conversation with your grandfather about, you know, what's happening with grandma and, and, and her health. And then you're going, oh, take then that off of there, please. <laughs> Anyway, and, and, then, and then your other talent, and then you, and, but, th but then you're having the same time. You're having conversation with your grandmother or grandfather. Then you're telling dad jokes. You exactly. Know? Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So we're family, and yeah. you're family. It's uh, yay! I'm exactly. family too. Yay. Absolutely. Wonderful. Yeah. What was the we're crazy? <laughs> what is the craziest thing that happened to you on air? That was like oh. one of those. Well, here we are, and let's just like go with it. Okay. Well, I'll just the one that's top of mind because I was making fun of Rachel this morning. There was a near and dear legend to WHAS television. Uh, the singing cowboy was Randy Atcher. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. And Rachel followed, and he was got him some poor health. I mean, she was staying in very close touch with uh, his wife, uh, Betty. And we got the phone call that he had passed away mm -hmm. in the closing minutes of Good Morning Kentuckiana one morning. That the same morning, one of our prize producers had brought in her salsa dancing troupe. So it was a tough transition <laughs> for Rachel. So I'm sorry, Rachel, to tell the story on the television. So she had to just say, no. just got the word, Randy Atcher has passed away at the age of, you know, 70 something. And now it's also dancing. <laughs> Because, so yeah. that was one of those transitions that, that wasn't quite as, Rachel, I'm really sorry that I told that story on television, but she put me on the spot. 
It's great. And we love Randy. <laughs> Randy was dear and near and dear to us. He and that loved Team RV. Yes. But it happened. Yeah. And it was live TV, and he would appreciate live and TV. And the salsa dancers are here. We gotta, right. we gotta show them. Which reminds me, Claudia has agreed no, to do some salsa dancing with no, me. I didn't. <laughs> didn't you? No, I did. Okay. Yes, I, did. <laughs> I thought that was part of the deal. No, I thought it was part of. No. Well, I you tried. were going to sing too. We have an extra. Mic. Oh, do we maybe have the music too? And you can just no, just, just wire up stop. the karaoke and go from there. I can <laughs> sing the old coverage you can count on theme. You you really transitioned seamlessly out of I think so from anchoring political reporting to finding I think that's always really difficult to find something else outside of television mm -hmm. that you're passionate about because we're all creative people and it's really always hard to, to say mm -hmm. well what else am I going to do besides this because it it has to be something that you really care about mm -hmm. and you're one of those that it's mm -hmm. like well Joe found a good one well, let me tell you though the, the whole GMK family uh -huh. Ken Schultz all of them. made a great name for himself at Humana, Humana. Uh, Andy and Rachel now at the Fraser History Museum Renee who owns Louisville mm -hmm. uh, at Norton, Norton Healthcare. Kelsey Starks, who's now, of course, on KET yeah. and really has found an, an, a new family, a new niche there as well. Perfect opportunity to exactly. export her talent all across the state. I have a great opportunity, and I just, I'm very fortunate to land with the family of electric cooperatives all across the state. Uh, there are 1.7 million people who are served by them. There's 26 great co-ops. These are community-owned yeah. places. The, the, the folks home, you've been, you've been at Shelby Energy yeah, before and seen the folks there. It's, and it, and it's, it, it feels good to be a part of something you can believe in. Yeah. We publish Kentucky Living Magazine. It's a great opportunity to tell some great Kentucky stories like you do here. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you asking about that. Absolutely. Because, well, and but it's we're like all very fortunate. Putting your heart and soul even into, you know, Kentucky Living, they do this great best of poll. I know we're going to have you back on to talk about that. But it, it's almost like I mean to find that Joe is just super special right like it's yep. one of those jobs you see and you're like Joe's perfect for that like yeah. that's perfect for you well again thanks to WHAS TV and thanks to all of the viewers over the years and I it is it is a great opportunity I mean frankly Kroger is the favorite place to go yeah just because you're able to reconnect with people it's so true. Like, the only issue is the folks and who still say I watch you every morning that hasn't happened for a while right but that's okay you know if you were in weather they would just yell at you the one good thing about <laughs> so, going gray young mm -hmm. is that I've kind of looked the same age for a really long time and people say you so look I'm kind exactly of like a time same. warp you know it's just the weight that fluctuates <laughs> Lucky you. Hey, you um, are getting ready to be a part of an event we want to tell everybody about with the Louisville Forum because they have their big mm -hmm. annual dinner coming out. Right. Louisville um, Forum is a civic uh, organization. We talk about public policy or great community minded events and mm -hmm. community minded issues. And so usually 11 months out of the year, we do our luncheons at Vincenzo's. Mm -hmm. But coming up on February 8th, we're going to have our annual dinner and you're invited uh, at the Waterfront Botanical Gardens. And our Fleur de Lis Award, our Lifetime Achievement Award, and our thank you to important people in our community is going to the Novak family. This is David Novak of Young Great. Brands. Yes. Uh, David and Wendy Novak, of course, mm -hmm. immense philanthropists across uh, the, the, the state and the city and the country, actually. Their daughter, Ashley Novak Butler with Lift a Life Foundation. Anyway, that, we're, we're so we excited. And then on the, on the heels of the State of the City address, Mayor Craig Greenberg will be there to answer questions from our Louisville Forum audience. It's a great opportunity. The public is invited. LouisvilleForum.org. You can go there and buy tickets. Also, you can sponsor it. Claudia has agreed to a $2,000 sponsorship. She doesn't know about this yet. It's, okay. it, it's part of the salsa <laughs> dancing lesson combo. We have to go to News and Weather. We should dance out. Oh, the, are you giving me a rap? No, you're giving you a rap. Okay, give me a rap. We're going to dance out. Tell them we're going to News and Weather. Okay. News I can't do salsa dancing. <laughs> She's going to move and I'll just I pretend. I can't either. <laughs> I, can't, I don't know what's going Goodbye. on. Thank you, thank you. Oh, oh, oh. Colleen with Weather next. <laughs>